Titanomachy. The Titanomachy is a significant mythological event in ancient Greek mythology. It refers to the 10-year-long war that took place between the Titans and the Olympian gods who were led by Zeus. This epic battle marked a major turning point in Greek mythology as it resulted in the overthrow of the Titans and the rise of the Olympian gods as the dominant deities in the Greek pantheon. In ancient Greek mythology, a Titan is a powerful, primordial deity and the children of the primordial deities Gaia, Earth, and Uranus, Heaven. The Titans were considered the elder gods preceding the Olympian gods in the divine hierarchy. They played a significant role in the early creation myths and cosmology of the ancient Greeks. After the decisive defeat of the elder Titans in the Titanomachy, a new problem emerges, challenging the divine order. These titans, revered as primordial deities, embody the very essence of the natural world and cosmic balance. Unlike mortal creatures, gods, especially the primordial ones, were deemed eternal and immortal. Yet, despite their omnipotence, they faced a form of captivity. The question arises, can any prison truly confine such mighty deities? One prison can. The Tartarus. Tartarus, in Greek mythology, is not just a prison but also a deep, gloomy, and terrifying realm within the underworld where divine or mythological figures who had defied or offended the gods were imprisoned as a form of punishment. It is a place associated with suffering and torment, and its purpose is to hold those who have committed grave offenses against the divine order. Here is a list of titans who found themselves imprisoned in the depths of Tartarus. Kronos, the leader of the titans. Kronos, the youngest among the first-generation titans, wielded a scythe or sickle as his symbol. He possessed dominion over time and was closely associated with the bountiful harvest. Among the titans, he was renowned for his immense power and influence. However, despite his formidable position, Kronos faced a dire fate as a result of his actions and transgressions. His imprisonment in Tartarus was a consequence of his role in the overthrow of his father, Uranus, and his heinous act of devouring his own offspring, driven by a prophecy foretelling his downfall. Atlas Atlas, frequently portrayed carrying the celestial spheres or the heavens upon his mighty shoulders, symbolized his mastery over this celestial realm. His remarkable strength enabled him to bear the weight of the sky, a task that set him apart among the Titans. Atlas played a pivotal role among the Titans, primarily owing to his distinctive punishment. He was condemned by Zeus to shoulder the heavens as retribution for leading the Titans into a climactic battle against the Olympians. Iapetus Iapetus was a Titan often associated with mortality and craftsmanship. While his powers may not have been as clearly defined as some other Titans, he is thought to be linked to the creation of humanity. Iapetus was not as well known as some of his titan counterparts, but he played a significant role in the creation of mankind. As for his sins, Iapetus sided with the titans in the Titanomachy, rebelling against the Olympian gods. Hyperion Hyperion was the titan associated with light, wisdom, and observation. He held dominion over heavenly bodies, presiding over the sun, Helios, the moon, Selene, and the dawn, Eos. Hyperion's responsibility for maintaining cosmic order and the movements of celestial bodies made him a pivotal figure among the Titans. In terms of his transgressions, Hyperion took part in the Titanomachy, fighting against the Olympian gods in an attempt to maintain the Titans' rule. Seus? Seus was closely associated with intellect, oracles, and foresight, endowing him with the gift of profound intelligence and access to prophetic knowledge. Although not as renowned as some of his fellow titans, his connection to intellect and oracles indicated his pivotal role in comprehending cosmic matters. Regarding his transgressions, Seus actively participated in the rebellion against the Olympian gods during the Titanomachy. Phoebe Phoebe held the esteemed position of the titan goddess of light and prophecy, closely tied to the realms of foresight, intellect, and the moon. Her pivotal role in prophecy and her lunar connections solidified her importance in the Titan pantheon, where she contributed to divine order and knowledge. As for her transgressions, Phoebe aligned herself with the Titans in their battle against the Olympian gods during the Titanomachy. Mnemosyne Mnemosyne held the unique mantle of the Titan goddess of memory and was also the mother of the Nine Muses. 
Her extraordinary power resided in the domain of memory and its ability to inspire artists and philosophers. Mnemosyne's pivotal role in preserving and kindling the flames of creativity and knowledge made her a crucial figure in the world's artistic and intellectual development. However, her sins included aligning herself with the Titans in their ill-fated rebellion against the Olympians. Most of these Titans were imprisoned in Tartarus for their roles in the Titanomachy, their rebellion against the Olympian gods, and their attempts to maintain their rule. Let the Titan's story serve as a reminder that unchecked power can blind us to the values that truly matter in life. Stay humble and grounded, for it is these values that define our humanity. If you have any mythical creatures you'd like us to hunt or explore in the future, don't hesitate to drop your suggestions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to embark on more epic quests with us, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe icon. By doing so, you'll stay curious, stay informed, and join us on the never-ending quest for wisdom. Thanks for tuning in, and until our next exploration, keep those questions coming, keep that curiosity burning, and remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered.